Hello Hattrick friends, it's time for episode 63 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Intercalbejo. This week we start with a scout's call. Let's see, Bulni. 16, oh he's solid defending. Francesco Copini. He's 16 though. Alright, 16 years old. Eugenio Rigotti. But he's 16. Please. 16. I feel so bad rejecting a solid. Oh, he's probably not that good. Oh, okay, unlucky. On to some senior training. This week we had Matarel pop from passable to solid defending. And it has been a while since we had a proper look at the sheet. So let's just take a look at that. Right, starting at the top, we have Sanotti, Francioni, and Camellini, the homegrown trainees, and they are all doing quite well in defense up to brilliant and outstanding above 2k hgms 28 i am actually thinking about changing the coach out to perhaps an excellent one lemity popped a while ago to passable defending we've been trying to move him on but it seems to be a tough case at the moment i don't know why but we can't seem to sell him willing has actually been sold already so we have to find another trainee during the week and i'm thinking about finding another playmaking trainee because we could make an overlap in the next cycle phase it's not that far away it's roughly half a season away before we swap to playmaking you might be wondering about Yakukiva here in the bottom he doesn't have 61 scoring he has six but he's part of a big plan still and that's why we have perhaps a little less talented player in or valuable player in a profit slot at the moment Kotatko PM prospect here and he's up to inadequate defending Lotka up to formidable defending and i'm thinking maybe it's time to see if we can move him on as well quite soon i think we'll pop him one more time to outstanding and then we'll move him on material as i said we just saw him pop and i think we will give him one more pop in defense before moving him on and then we have glenn de Manet. The keeper prospect here and we are also looking at realizing some of the profit on this fella he was rated a little higher in the transfer compare so we'll have to see what happens once he pops to excellent defending they're definitely going the right direction i'm really looking forward to starting out to their playmaking stint i am not gonna lie about that if we look at the training planner you'll see that Rangioni is just about to hit brilliant in defending Tanati should reach magnificent and Camellini should end up at brilliant at the end of this stint as well seven weeks to go here can't wait can't wait I wanted to make a visual representation of how far we are along in the cycle so at the top of the screen you should be seeing this new bar appear right now you have to remember this only takes the senior seasons into account not the time we had to wait with uh, the youth players coming through the academy and it's only until the age of 29 as well but uh, it's just to show how much patience is really required in order to play a whole cycle from the cradle to the grave on sunday evening we did play san gius du calcio and just before that we actually swapped coach in order to gain a bit more of an edge let me just show you the new coach lawrence grimes he's an excellent coach and to be honest we can't really afford it i know weak leadership is not really worthwhile in terms of converting and the price and, and all that but i wanted to give myself a challenge in order to see if i can actually make enough profit during the cycle in order to sustain an excellent coach so we have quite a challenge on our hands now let's take a look at the highlights from the match on sunday evening in the league oh and importantly into Calvahewa, Juan Salvador Matroel coming down the right side, making it 1 0 for the Nerasuri. Wow, San Giusti Calcio, Giusto with an equalizer here. Dal Olmo on a corner from Dino Giavo. Into Calvahewa, Leas Lotka on the right after 35 minutes love to see it love to see it it all ended in a very nice 2-1 win and it was uh, quite deserved when you look at the ratings we are a bit vulnerable only attacking down one side and we'll have to see if we can make some swaps and do things in order to mix it up a little because it's getting quite tough no injuries Matarel, lotka on the score sheet 
looking at the league that leaves us in third, but we will have a tough period coming up, having to play Charles Lancia two times in a row in the coming weeks. Luckily, luckily Berlin United and AC Vimson Free are clashing in the other top double matchup over week seven and eight in the league so hopefully we'll be able to sustain third but i will not be too disappointed if we are perhaps down to fourth after the next two rounds then we'll have to spend the remaining part of the season trying to achieve our goal of a third place in the league on a final note i would just like to thank everyone who keeps supporting the channel keeps coming back to the streams and keeps commenting on the videos thank you so much i hope you have the greatest weekend hat trick and i'll see you in a week take care